Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome yourself back to another episode of my Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke series. Now people, in the last episode, not much was really done. I mean, we did get here to Candelave City. Um, we did deal with Team Galactic, I do believe. Was that what we did? Yes, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We dealt with like a stupid goon of Team Galactic. We went to Celestic Town or whatever. We battled Cyrus, which was uh, surprisingly easy. But then we kind of sort of struggled with our rival battle here in Canalave City, which is just funny because we didn't struggle at all with Cyrus, yet for some reason we struggled with Flander. Like, what? Are you kidding me? But whatever, I guess. So, oh wait, I need to go over the team. Whoopsie. All right. So not much has changed. And by not much, I mean nothing has changed since the last episode. So if you haven't watched the last episode, I recommend you go do so because the team is still the same from then. So... First off, we got Viridi the Leafeon, level 41 with Quick Attack, Synthesis, Sand Attack, and Magical Leaf. Then we got Spyro the Typhlosion with Swift, Lava Plume, Flamethrower, and Quick Attack. Torque the Blastoise with Protect, Bite, Surf, and Aqua Tail. Level 42, I should have said. Uh, Togetic with Defog, Ancient Power, Metronome, and Sweet Kiss, level 41. And last but not least, Bacon, the Salamence, with Dragon Breath, Zen Headbutt, Arm Thrust, and Fly. Now, I just realized that I'm pretty sure we can actually evolve Togetic with just the Shiny Stone or whatever, so we need to get one of those, honestly. Now, the main problem with that is, unless they sell them, we are more than likely not going to easily find one. Now, one thing we can do is we could either go to Iron Island... Or we could go fight the gym right now. I say we go to Iron Island just for a bit of extra level and stuff, extra levels and stuff. So why not? Do you want to set sail? Sure, why not? Now, hopefully this goes well. I do, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that bad because Iron Island is basically set up so you can train there before the gym. So I, I think we'll be fine. I believe there's also like some hidden items here and there, so I may as well try and get any of them. What's in the house though? I always forget what's in this house. Absolutely nothing, okay. I thought it might have been something cool or something important, but nope. Oh, hi. You are? Okay, you're Luna. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer, and yes, it is a bit odd that I would be training here. Anyway, it's nice to meet another trainer. Here's a gift. What HM is that? That hidden machine it contains the move strength. Tease it out of- oh, okay. I'll be training inside. You can join me if you'd like. Alright, Riley. Okay. Now, hopefully- wait, I can get an encounter here, but I'm not gonna use it on the team. At least now, because I don't necessarily have... Uh, any room to train it with at the moment, because... We, we literally just got here, so it's not like I can just simply- Oh, go level ground. Are you kidding me? Again? No. No, it's gonna run away. It's gonna run away. Are you kidding? No, really? Really? This is- Oh my god. Ultra Ball, please catch it. If you catch it, cool. If you don't, I hate you. Yes! Oh my god, I- Okay, so... In a previous episode... I do believe we encountered an Abra. Or something of that sort. Maybe I'm just delusional and don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, I do believe we did. As an encounter. And of course, it being an Abra, it ran away immediately. Now you're probably wondering where that name comes from. And if you're wondering, then you probably don't watch... <laughs> you probably don't watch um, or really keep up to date with... Uh, the main people I associate myself with. What? He's holding a TM! What are the- Okay, let me see this. Let me see this. What, what TM? Water- Okay, never mind. You are useless. Dang it. I- I thought he was holding, like, a really cool TM or something. Oh, whatever. Let's just- Let's just continue on through here before anything else gets worse. Where's Riley? Where the world did he go? I could have sworn he was gonna be somewhere here. Now, I'm gonna just mostly speed up a lot of the random trainer battles here and there, because obviously they're not all too important, at least in my opinion. Um, they are a bit higher level than I anticipated, I'll be honest. I think we'll still be fine, though. If anything, we can get like a level or two off of these guys 
if need be. Now, obviously, we don't necessarily need it. Like, we could go and try and battle the gym right now, but at the same time, I feel like it's, for one, there's the exploration of this place. We could get some really good items, but on top of that, it's also just like... There is the potential that we might still... We might struggle if we don't uh, train here a little bit. Idle throw could be really good. Let's see if anybody can learn it. What is that? The user types of movies guaranteed not to miss. It might be nobody can learn it, so never mind. <laughs> okay then. I was hoping it'd be at least somewhat decent, but no. Doesn't even allow it. It's, it's like nobody on our team can learn it. Hello there. No, it's about you, so why not? It doesn't seem like a lot of the people here really have that much of any type of, um... They don't really have any sort of, um... Like, they don't seem to have more than one Pokemon. So I don't know if that's good or bad, really. Hi, it's Ogapi. <laughs> okay. So I'm kind of glad we did end up, um... Getting the Abra then, because chances are there are probably a lot of Pokemon here that aren't even that good. Oh, it's literally just an I Ooh, leftovers could be good. All right, I'm gonna give that to somebody though. I'm gonna give that to. I'm gonna give that. No, wait, Torx already. No, I'm gonna give it to. Let's give it to Viridi. Why not? Could be useful. Oh, you have two Pokemon, dude. What are you special or something? I'm gonna send in Togetic, even though Togetic doesn't really have anything to use against them. Still. Come on now. Ooh. Okay, we got lucky with the Aura Beam or Aurora Beam, whatever. Sludge, but okay. We got, I'll admit, we got pretty lucky there, but, um, we more than likely won't get lucky again. Never mind. Alright, so <laughs> we seem to get pretty lucky with, uh, what's it called, with, uh, Metronome every time. That's cool, but at the same time, I have a really bad feeling about it, because Metronome is not the most reliable move, as you can imagine. Luna, I'm glad to see you here. If you don't mind, let's team up. The Pokemon seem to be restless. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he heals our Pokemon as well. Yep. Well, he's not gonna heal him right now, but like every after every battle, I believe he heals our Pokemon. Yeah, let's get into this battle. Why not? Now, one thing I do remember in this area is it not being insane. It's, it was not easy uh, when I originally played through the game, but that might have just been because of like oh, it's because of under level or being under leveled, I should say. Also, the fact that his uh, Lucario is a spirit tomb is actually really useful. For a lot of reasons, because if you're not familiar with how insanely powerful Spiritomb is in this game, he literally had no weaknesses in this game, making him next to impossible to take down, really. Like, if you've ever gone up against Cynthia's um, Spiritomb, you know exactly what I'm talking about, because that Spiritomb was just an absolute nightmare to go up against, because if I'm not mistaken, in the champion battle, she leads with it as well, so it's just like you have to take it down before anything else. So yeah, Spiritomb, uh, I don't know if he's necessarily considered as good as he was in Diamond and Pearl anymore. Pretty sure not, because uh, I believe he is actually weak to something involving fairy types or whatever, but... At, at the very least, Spiritomb did have some shining moments back in Diamond and Pearl. And he was quite the overpowered Pokemon, I will say. Come uh, on, let me escape. Oh my god, really? Can I escape now? There we go. So I need to make sure I keep on the potion, or not potions, the repels. Because if not, we are going to be dealing with a whole bunch of, I wouldn't say unskippable, but annoying sort of battles, really. I think this is the right way, I'm not too sure. What's this? Honey! That's not all too useful, but okay, I'll take it, why not? Oh boy, what are you two going to... What are you two gonna have against us? Gobat and Umbreon. That's not that bad, honestly, but hopefully, hopefully me and Spirit- Oh, they are stronger than I anticipated. Hmm. All right, I say Togetic go in and uh, try and take down the Gobat, really. Cause I, the, oh, God, this is just, hmm. I'm a bit afraid of uh, hurting myself, so I'm just gonna heal up right there. Alright, good job on Spiritomb there, but uh, we are in quite the pickle, I will say. Thank God for uh, Togetic still doing a decent amount of damage, but I don't... Oh man, it's just this 
fight is not as good as I was anticipating. And it doesn't help that they actually have some decent Pokemon. But I think we'll be fine. Oh. Alright, just... Take out the Umbreon. Because I'm more, I'm more afraid of the Umbreon than anything, I'll admit. Because the Umbreon is genuinely a very, very strong Pokemon, for one. Oh my god, that is a lot of damage. Now, I could attack, but at the same time, that's a... Uh, it's too risky on my part. I can't even use an item. I was about to use an item. Dang it. Well, at least I can use Surf. All right, that took out one. I think it'll take out Zangoose as well. Perfect. No. Oh, we still have you to deal with, really? Well, we're fine now. All right, that battle was a bit uh, concerning, I'll admit. I didn't expect it to go that badly, but we're fine. I get it now. You're responsible for agitating the Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into the mine. We're Team Galactic. We take all the Pokemon we want. Isn't that right, partner? You said it, brother. So we're gonna. So that's what we're gonna do. We're abducting all the Pokemon from the rusted out Iron Island to share all the joys and all the sorrows. That's how all the trainers and Pokemon live in Sinnoh. I won't allow anyone to defy the code of ethics. Come on, Luna. This is one battle. This is one battle we can't lose. Now, I'm hoping this battle doesn't go like the last one, because if it does, that's a very, very bad thing. Oh. <laughs> They're starting off with an unknown and a Zigzagoon. I... I'm not... Mm, can't say I'm too afraid of these guys. Uh, let's see... I'll go with the Magic Leaf on Zigzagoon. I don't know why, I just have a better feeling about using it on that, as opposed to the unknown. Hmm. Pin Missile! Why does the Zigzagoon have Pin Missile? Is what I'm wondering, but at the same time, I... Yeah, it's not... It's literally doing nothing to us, so... I think we're fine. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Oh no. What are you attacking? Don't attack me! Dang it, why did you attack me? Please take out the unknown or something. I think you might be able to. Yes! Perfect! Now I can just quick attack the Zigzagoon and I'll be able to take him out, basically. And- oh my god, Spirit Tube got the buff from that as well, not bad. Gotta level up on Viridi. Giga Drain! Okay, that might actually be a very, very useful move, I'll be honest. Because... Aside from Quick Attack and uh, Magical Leaf, they're they're okay moves and all, but they're not that great in terms of overall damage and usefulness, so it's nice to have Giga Drain, basically. Uh, Magnemite, really? That's just gonna be annoying to take down. Uh, whatever, I'll just Quick Attack the Zigzagoon and hope that Spiritomb has something for the Magnemite. He probably doesn't, but I, I can hope. I can hope at the very least. Well, he has Nasty Plot, and I guess that's... I don't know. That might help, that might not help. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. At least he's not attacking me, basically. Now, I think I'm gonna switch real quick. So, you got a Grimer? Okay, cool. Let's switch into Spyro. And, uh, let's see. Okay. So, I'm gonna use... Lob yeah, Lava Plume hits everyone, so let me not do that. I'm gonna just use the flamethrower and just take out this Magmite real quick, because he's not even that big of a threat, but he's more so an annoyance for just not even being able to take all too much damage from Spirit Tomb or something. Now, Zangoose as well, I'm a tad bit afraid, can't really take damage from our Spirit... Not from our Spirit Tomb, but from Riley's Spirit Tomb. What could he... Ah, uh, yeah, I had a feeling that wasn't gonna work all too well. A Buizel? Really? Alright, so I'm gonna switch back into Viridi then. Let's see... Okay, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna... Giga Drain the Zangoose in hopes that it does a decent amount. Eh, it did. Uh, and a Magical Leaf might be able to do the trick. I'm really not too sure in terms of what Vridi's damage is compared to the Zangoose. Sadly, not enough. We can quick attack it. Actually, Giga Drain, why not? Perfect! Alright, thank god Vridi came through with that fight, because if not, that might have been a tad bit more difficult than I anticipated, but I think we'll be fine regardless. Stop, I said stop, your combination is so sick! The both of you and your Pokémon. Let's beat it, partner. You said it, brother. 
We don't even know what Team Galactic's big plan is anyways. Well then. <laughs> How do they not know if they're a part of Team Galactic? Thanks, you really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Would you, like to, would you take it with you? Sure, but I don't. I can't take it, obviously. Alright then, well, I'll wait for you. Here, okay. So you can come back for that egg later, but... Uh, I'll more than likely forget, let's be honest. So let's get out of here, why don't we? Now, my thing is though, with the egg, I, re I remember getting the egg from Cynthia and thinking, Oh, it's gonna be a new Pokemon, like a completely different Pokemon than what it normally is, but... It, it just wasn't. Oh, hello. I don't remember if this is always open normally or what. I don't believe it is. Okay, no, 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 it is, it is, but... I... I'm gonna try my hardest. I'll admit, I'm gonna try my hardest to do things like the Battle Frontiers and unlock all the legendaries, even though it is very difficult to do, I will, regardless of the fact, I will still try my absolute hardest to get those working, because for one, I want to see what the legendaries are, but on top of that, I also just want to see what potential we have, um, or just, not that, I just, I really want to see uh, how much we can just complete this game, because I do want to try and get as much of it done as possible because uh, I don't know platinum is as I said as I said many times over the course of this series and just in general platinum is my favorite Pokemon game so I'd love to try and complete it as much as possible and so on and so on now the gym um it's probably not gonna be that difficult I'll be honest but I am still fearing that we might come into a couple or we might run into a couple difficulties here and there but overall I think we'll be fine really I don't remember. I don't remember where's the right way and where's the wrong way in this gym, but probably will be fine. I'm gonna use fly on you because I believe you're part bug. Yes, perfect. We got over here. Okay, this is the right way, and I know it. It doesn't seem. Oh god, level 40. Oh god, these guys are a lot stronger level than I anticipated. Um. Hmm. Thank God for hitting. Yes, perfect. I think it just came through like twice. That's actually really, really good. Okay, I'm surprised everybody's pretty on par with each other in terms of levels as well. Like, I didn't really expect that, I'll be honest, but I... Eh, whatever. Uh, I believe we go up. And then we go to this one. The one with the trainer, obviously, because... Why would it be the one that's not with the trainer? Just, just think about it. Of course it's going to be the one with the trainer. I think we might be able to just breeze through this gym with bacon here, let's be honest. And again, this is the right way, of course, because it has trainers. Kingler, I'm gonna go fly. I'm surprised that one one-shotted, I'll be honest. Because even though fly is a really strong move, you know, same type of attack bonus, all that sort of stuff, I just didn't really expect it to do that much. Now, I need to heal you up just in case, so you can never be too sure. I think we are just about there, basically. Are we? Uh, I think we're still like a couple trainers away from getting there, but yeah, yeah, we're we're essentially there for the most part. Just got a couple trainers to deal with, and then we'll be good to go. Let me go for Dragon Breath. Like my my main fear is that the gym leader, which is like Byron or whatever, I, my main fear is that he's gonna have some really strong or really odd Pokemon that just ends up wiping my entire team out or something, but hey, hello there, we're not battling you yet, because I have to go heal up and stock up on some extra items, but I'll just talk as I continue on through there. So, like I said, that's my main fear with this gym, but at the same time, we do have pretty decently leveled team members. There, I, that, it does give me a lot more hope than it would normally, had I not have, had I not had my team members so... I'm gonna say high leveled, but uh, at that level, basically. I'm gonna get like uh, 20 hyper potions. Why not? Let me get a whole bunch of super potions here, because I need them. Do we have full heals? Yes, we do. I'm gonna get a bunch of those as well. And while I'm at it, I may as well get some repels as well, because even though we're not gonna use those in the gym, obviously, may as well just have them just in case. And before we continue on as well, I also wanna see if there's like any equipables. Any equipable items we can give to anybody? Let's see... I don't think we can. Things Rock. I'm gonna give that to... Spyro, just in case. 
Uh, it's, I think that's all we can really give people. <laughs> yeah, that looks to be the case. Um, uh, whatever then, I guess. All right. Now, I don't remember if the red one's still there. It's not, of course. All right, so we just got to go back to the stupid gym. I think there's like a trainer or something we missed out, but I think we're fine. Now, as far as I know, I do believe um, Byron's highest level might be 42. I, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, though, at the same time, because judging on the level is uh like the trainers in his gym were i think it might end up being like 43 or something but all right it's time hello ah that's orgbrook's gym badge i see i see you've defeated my son but that's no surprise he still has much to learn in place of my son rourke i byron will take your challenge we got robin i'm surprised all the names have been so normal though but three pokemon first up is dawn fan so I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch into Torque, I'll be honest. Cause Don Fan is gonna give us some trouble. Considering the fact I do, yeah, we're part flying type, so Don Fan is most certainly gonna give us trouble, but... For the most part, I do believe Torque is going to be able to quite easily finish the job here with the Don Fan, considering the fact that we are a couple levels higher, and everything of that sort. Now, the sunlight is what's going to make things a bit annoying to deal with, but overall, I think we'll still be fine, even though it will cut the damage we do. Hopefully- No! Ooh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit more... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna use Bite, just to lower his health just a little bit. Alright, now I think another- What? Okay, a Magnitude, cool. Uh, that was a lot more damage than I anticipated from the Magnitude, so luckily this is why I stocked up on healing items right before we even got in here, because I knew, I knew if we didn't, we would more than likely be in a pretty decent amount of trouble, so I just wanted to make sure we were more so on the safe side. I'm going to use Bite again, though, because I, I'm not, I'm not too confident in Aqua Tail's damage right now to really finish off the job. Alright, now I'm hoping he doesn't heal from this, because if he does, that's just not even... It's not even fair. Alright, Aqua Tail, yes! I think that's gonna do it. Alright, one down. Two more to go, I guess? I still have zero clue what their levels are, but... Judging on the fact that, um, this Dawn fan is level 37, I don't think we have much to worry about. Alright, Perugly, does anybody have any fighting type moves? Oh, wait, 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 Bacon does. How could I forget about that? I, like, for one, I passed him, but secondly, he has arm thrust. She has arm thrust, my bad. Alright, you are level 41. Alright, so you might be a bit more of an annoyance to deal with. Assist? Who knows that? Okay, good. Please get off as m Oh my god! That's ridic- Oh, I was hoping we'd be able to get off more, but the fact that one of those, that was a crit, obviously, did, like, more than half of Perugly's health is insane. Alright, I think we're gonna be able to take out this Perugly now. Perfect, yes. One more Pokemon to go. What could it possibly be? Alright, so his last Pokemon is a... Glaceon. All right, that should be pretty easy uh, for Spyro to take down because he has flame. He has a uh, what's it, flame burst or whatever, and flamethrower. So as far as I know, I don't believe it's necessarily going to be all too bad to take down or lava plume. Why did I have flame burst? Why did I think that? Um, which is strong? I I think flamethrower is, but I just want to be on the safe side. 95, 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. The flamethrower is more certainly the better option. But regardless, I'm not sure if it'll one-shot. I'm hoping it will. And it did, yes! Not even a crit or anything. Perfect. Now, my only problem with, uh... Breezing through the gym like that is all the trainers and stuff and every gym leader and everything else is going to catch up to me in levels very quickly. But at the very least, we got a gym badge. We are... Getting pretty close. I wouldn't say to the end of the game at this point, but we are 
Yeah, we have six gym badges. The next gym leader, or the next episode, is more than likely going to be a pretty long one, because we are going to have quite a lot to do. Because we're going to have to do a whole bunch of stuff involving Team Galactic. In fact, I think we have to deal with some now. Oh, no. Hey, that's the mind badge. Good going. You're tough enough to consider becoming the champion. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not actually going to happen. Anyway, Luna, come with me to the library. Well, guess what? I'm not doing that. I'm going to go heal up and end off the episode. So, people, if you have enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke, be sure to go ahead and drop a like as well as a comment, and I shall see you guys next time. See you.